June 12, 2014. You're looking at images from the last few days of the X flares, guys, popping off the left corner of the sun. That sunspot's turning towards Earth more and more, and it has released a couple strong M's this morning. But now NOAA's saying solar flares disrupt communications on Earth. It could send shock wave on Friday the 13th. The sun has had three major solar flares on its surface in the past two days that have affected communications on Earth and could send a shock wave through Earth this Friday, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. Now, they're finally mainstream has picked up on this series of flares, and that's good because it will help put some type of a warning out, guys, for these type of events. Now, they finally cranked their flare tracker back up, um, and I'll, let's narrow down this timing. There's, right here, you're seeing that the as this wave approaches the Earth, that's 12 o'clock Friday. That's UTC time. That's 7 a.m. in the morning on the East Coast. That'll be 6 a.m. Central, 4 a.m. on the West Coast. Approximate time, guys. These charts are approximate. Sometimes they're accurate. Sometimes they're plus or minus seven hours, depending on what we're dealing with. Look at how this thing disrupts the magnetic lines of force going out into space there. Now, you saw this ace proton chart last night. You saw that spike, guys. Those are M flares on both sides of it. This spike's higher than any of the X flares and have not definitely tied this down other than the pulse coming across the ACE satellites. Again, look at June the 12th to your right. That's what we're dealing with. One, two, three, actually four strong M's. And that's just telling you the uh, energy is still in this solar spot group. We're going to have to watch it. We'll check this area. This is today. Excuse me, this goes from yesterday into today. I backed it up an extra day. You know, we still got these sunspots to the right. We're watching. And they're the only ones listed as triple configurated, capable of X flares. But we know that that doesn't always work out. This is the sunspots on the face of the sun. It's beginning to get quite active. As you remember, last week it was just filaments. Now it's sunspots again in this solar max. This is the area that's dangerous right there. It doesn't look that uh, large. But you've seen what it can do so far. We've had uh, five, four X flares, guys. Now, 2080 still listed beta, gamma, delta. You see that on the right. 2087 is beta, gamma. There, 2087 is where we're getting our X flares. 2092 is just behind. It, and 2090 seems to be growing. We'll have to watch that. But that is the, that's what we've got going on the sun. Again, as the sun rises in the morning, according to the coronal mass ejection tracking model, that looks like the arrival of the CME on the east coast. So we'll, we'll have to watch that. We'll update it later today, guys. Heads up and be safe.